Good morning guys. As you saw by the title, I have someone new here to introduce you guys to. Um, we had our little baby boy on July 3rd. His name is Foster. Foster Brent is his first and middle name. Um, his middle name is a fourth generation middle name. So it's David's uh, middle name, his dad and his grandpa's. Um, and we just love his name so much. He's so sweet. We've been in like the newborn fog for almost a month now. He turns one month in a couple days. So I can't believe he's already a month, but I also feel like he's been here for so much longer. Um, but yeah, we're just so in love. I cannot believe I have a little boy, you guys. I, in my heart, thought I was having a boy, but I would never let myself believe that it was a boy. I just was like, it has to be a girl. There's no way we'd have a boy. Um, and when I had a C-section, we asked the doctors to not say the gender and let David look and he be the one to announce it. And I will never forget when he said, it's a boy. I literally just started bawling immediately and it was so special. Um, so yeah, we're all very obsessed with him, including his sister. So many people ask about Remy and how she's doing, which is super sweet. Um, she has been amazing. She's been way, she's taken to the adjustment way better than we ever imagined she would. Obviously, we all, I mean, honestly, it's a big adjustment for me, for David, and obviously for Remy. Um, and she's just been a champ and has been doing super well. Um, so yeah, she loves her little brother and it's just been like the best month. Obviously with any newborn, you just kind of feel like you're in a fog for a while. I still obviously am definitely in that, but I feel like we're coming around, getting a little bit more energy, maybe kind of figuring out a couple things. Um, as you see, he's drinking from a bottle. I never did that with Remy. I exclusively breastfed her. So we're just kind of working through different things. He's a different baby and we're figuring him out as we go. And yeah, it's just been so fun and so just like the sweetest time for our family. Um, but yeah, he's just the cutest little thing. Everyone says Remy is David's twin. If you have been watching, you all know that. But everyone says that he looks more like his mama than um, Remy did. Um, so maybe he'll be my little twin. Probably not. I feel like as he gets older, he's just going to like morph into David, um, which is okay. I think David's pretty cute too. But anyways, he's so sweet, so little. He was eight pounds, eight ounces when he was born and 22 inches long. So he was a pretty big baby and he's very long. Are you so cute? Yeah, this is little Foster. Yeah, that's our little boy and I'm so excited to introduce you guys to him. Um, and we'll bring you guys along probably for today, maybe tomorrow. I'm not really sure how this vlog will go. Um, but today Remy is with her grandparents and it's just a foster mommy day, which has been super nice. Remy goes to their house every Tuesday and so she kind of gets a little bit like of a break and goes and has fun with her grandparents and then we just get some like one-on-one -on -one time, which has been really nice and special. So I think today it's so much easier to run an errand with just one kid. So I think him and I are going to run and do a return at Zara and then go to Trader Joe's, which I've been wanting to do. But yeah, I just thought I would introduce you guys to Foster and bring you guys along on our day today and maybe tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for all the sweet words on Instagram when we announced. Um, yeah, it's just been like the perfect little like newborn bubble over here. Um, and by perfect, I don't mean actually perfect. We've had our days that have been hard and tears have been shed, but overall it's just been so amazing and we love him so much. What do you think, baby? Should we go? Oh, you're not ready to go shopping yet. You don't want to go? Are you already crying because you have to go shopping with mommy? Okay, we are at our first stop. We are gonna run in to Zara to return a dress that I ordered. Like I said, I think I said earlier, we're doing our family photos tomorrow. So I ordered a few dresses just to make sure that I had one that fit me. 
and um, yeah, I just need to return what I don't want to keep, and we're going to run in there. Um, I slowly started buying Foster a couple things because obviously we didn't know what we were having, so I didn't really buy a ton of baby clothes, and now it's kind of fun because I have a little girl to dress and a little boy to dress. I feel like I got the best of both worlds, and so far it's been fun to buy some little like boy clothes. Um, so yeah, we're gonna run into the mall here, just make this a really quick stop because I'd rather spend more time in Trader Joe's and um, I just wanna be able to get back home and get some work done. But um, yeah, Zara first, which will be exciting. We're definitely going to the kids section. Our Zara kids section is pretty small, but I'm still just excited to go look. So we're gonna head in. Back in the car, super quick trip. Um, I got a couple things from Foster, but like I guessed, their little kid section is pretty small. It's also probably like a weird time to be shopping because I feel like fall stuff hasn't been out yet and summer stuff is probably pretty picked over. But anyways, I did find this cute little tee that I thought was so cute. Um, just says little bear crew so cute and then I also grabbed just a really simple basic white tee pretty boring but I feel like this would be super cute which is a pair of leggings and I have so many of these little leggings from Remy and most of them he can still wear like they're neutral colors but I didn't have these little gray ones and I thought gray would be cute on him so I grabbed those and I wanted the blue to go with this, but they didn't have a size, but I think that's still pretty cute. So I grabbed these. If you haven't bought these leggings from them, they're $12.90 and they're just the best. I literally bought them in like so many sizes for Remy, so many colors, and she wore them all the time. They wash super well and for the price, I feel like you can't beat that. So everything we got at Zara and now we're gonna head to Trader Joe's to go grocery shopping and just kind of like look around see what new stuff they have um and we'll bring you guys along I'm guessing I'm gonna defeat him before we go in because he's been sleeping for a while now so okay we'll see you there home somehow I have gone to Zara and to Trader Joe's and done all my grocery shopping and got home and he is still sleeping I was rushing because I just wanted to get home but I'm very impressed and he's still sleeping so I'm gonna try to show you guys some things that I got at Trader Joe's um, the first thing are some potato chips David said he was craving this dip so I think I'm going to make it for a dinner tonight because we're just having like a grill out. So it's going to be really casual. Zucchini and yellow squash. This is like one of my favorite vegetable sides during the summer. Just so good. My grandpa and my mom always grew these in the garden. And so I like grew up eating them all the time. I got some little baby potatoes. I don't know what I'm going to make with them yet, but I wanted them for one of our sides this week and then I think these are new I got these for Remy I kind of bought her a bunch of really quick like breakfast items because I'm learning that in the morning is like the most chaotic time and I just need stuff that I can quickly give to her right away because she's hungry immediately when she wakes up and then later on like around like 8 I usually make breakfast for both her and I so for a really quick just like when she wakes up 
um, they had this cute little cereal. I was just like obsessed with the box. I thought it was so cute. So I got her this. Hopefully she likes it. I got some greenery. I chose these two because I feel like they will last the longest and I won't have to replace them. So I just got two of those. Got some carrots. Remy has become obsessed with cooked carrots. Asparagus. Um, I want to make some creamy cucumbers tonight for our little cookout. So I'm going to make those probably in a little bit. I will do that. Um, some prosciutto because I wasn't able to eat it for like nine months and now I can. So I got that. I don't know why, but this sounded good to me. This is like not something I ever one would buy or like order at a restaurant, but it was speaking to me. I feel like if these aren't in your cart at Trader Joe's, then like, what are you doing? So I got some of those. Sweet potato gnocchi for Remy. Got these hash browns, staple for breakfast. A bunch of mushrooms just to have maybe make egg cups with them. These are another thing that Remy's obsessed with and I really like them too. They're the cashew buttered cashews. I just cut them up for her because they're too big. And then I grabbed some whole grain waffles for another breakfast for us. Some avocado. And then we made this amazing appetizer like I don't know, probably a year ago, and I just was thinking about it, so I bought this to have in our fridge for just random, maybe this weekend we'll make it, but you uh, grill a baguette and you slice it, and then you put this cheese on it, it's like a cheese spread, and then you slice steak and put it on top, and it's so good. Um, so I just got that, and it'll stay good in the fridge for a while until we want to make that. All right, he is all fed, and I am going to baby wear him while I clean up the house. Um, I love this carrier so much. I'm so thankful because it's definitely a splurge item, and I was like a little worried to order it because I'm like, what if he doesn't like it, or what if I don't like it, and we just don't use it, and um i bought it and we both are obsessed with it i've been putting him in it almost every day since i've been able to the first few weeks i obviously didn't just because of recovery and stuff but now that i'm feeling a lot better this thing is so nice just being able to have both my hands for like cleaning or tidying or just like playing with remy like i still kind of feel like I can do a lot and hold him at the same time um, and that's kind of why I justified buying this because I do have Remy here and um, I just thought it would make my life a lot easier and so far we've been loving it so I'm gonna go ahead and do a big clean of my house it's three o'clock now so I'm guessing for the next like hour I'll probably clean and then I want to kind of start prepping dinner because um, I just like to do that on Tuesday so that when David and Remy get back, it's not like super stressful and we can kind of just have like a low key night together. So I'm gonna go ahead, make a coffee and then start cleaning. It's so comfortable. And no one seems to hold me like you do. So wonderful. A star could never shine as bright as you. Even the dark days still see light. Even the birds still sing at night. Every word just comes out right when I'm with you, with you. I feel so lucky I met you, and I still. Can't believe that I get to see those eyes from more than tonight. Swear you must have felt from the sky and I feel so lucky. Good morning. It is the next day. Sorry I kind of fell off yesterday. I cleaned the house and then we made dinner and then it was national night out, so our neighbors were outside and we went and did that. So now this morning I just finished getting ready. We have lots of things happening in the background. And now we're going to get the kids ready for our pictures. My friend is going to be here in like a half hour. So we're going to go get Remy ready. And I'll try to vlog a little bit while she's here. Um, yeah. Okay. 
shut it? Yep, shut that. Thank you so Can much. Your mommy? Um, after pictures, we can do lotion, okay? Do mama's. That one's actually Remy's lotion. You like it? You look so cute. I'm just wearing this like taupe long Mommy. linen dress from Zara. Mama. Basically, everything we are wearing is from Zara. Um, yeah. Here's the dress. Very plain, but I have that. And then these little teardrop earrings are from the Anthropology. My hair. Okay, and then Foster is going to wear for his little like personal photos. I'm going to have him put this little like blue knitted romper from Zara on. It's so sweet. I love it. And then it has a matching little bonnet, which I think is super cute. And then I think for when we do our family photos, I'm going to put him in this, which is from the Simply Folk, I think it's called. The Simple Folk. It's so cute. And I think it'll be cute with all of our colors. So that's the plan. Um, once David's done feeding Foster, I can show you what he's wearing. Okay, we got Foster in his first little brown outfit. So cute. You look so handsome. Is this your first photo shoot? Look how cute he looks. <laughs> I know, it's like getting tight on him. Photos are done and I think they went super well. We just did a 30 minute session which seemed perfect for what we needed. I don't need like a hundred photos. I just wanted to get a couple of him and just like capture like these little newborn little details that you don't want to forget. And then um, also just some of like all of us together. And honestly 30 minutes was super nice and now Remy and David are off to go to swim lessons we usually go with but today I just kind of felt like staying home and yeah so that is what we're doing it's just Foster and I here for now and I just got a package in the mail I thought we could maybe try on some stuff um some obviously postpartum right now my body is fluctuating I'm not like my normal size things are just different than they used to be and I'm not really in the mood to buy clothes just because in like a month or so it's gonna cool down and I feel like I'll want to buy more like fall clothes and maybe my body will be a little bit I mean it definitely won't be in a month but just anyways I feel like I'm gonna be in the mood to buy normal clothes towards the fall more so than right now so i bought a bunch of athleisure clothes because let's be real i'm going to be at home for the next who knows how long and i feel like when i do go out i'm going out on walks or you know i'm just like wanting to be comfy so i bought a bunch of cute like lounge athleisure wear that i can still feel put together and cute but um i can wear like going on walks and stuff which is what i've been loving to do so i placed an order i kind of place orders everywhere and maybe i'll do like a big roundup on my like instagram or something but these i just bought from airy they just came in the mail i might go try them on they're just two pairs of shorts i got the brown and a black kept it simple they have fun colors and i almost went for it because i'm actually like craving color a little bit as i'm in like white and brown right now but um anyways i just went with simple colors and thought i could kind of mix and match a bunch of stuff so let's maybe go try them on and see if they fit hopefully they do i am so far away right now but i don't know if you can see them but they're super cute they're comfortable i have my spanks on from our photo shoot still but they're really cute they're flowy at the leg like i like they're maybe a little short than what I'm used to, but pretty cute. Um, and then I got this t-shirt from Target in their like athleisure 
um, athletic clothes department. I can't remember what it's called, but I will link it below. I got it in a few colors. I think it comes in like five colors. I got it in the white and then a chartreuse color and the black, I think. Um, but just cute and flowy cropped. I sized up just because I wanted it to be a little bigger, but um, yeah, it's cute.